Hi you guys, my name is Tiffany and I'm Angie and welcome to Sugar, Sugar and Spice TV. TV. So today we are going to do a what's in your bag or what's in your purse challenge. We've seen a lot of these on YouTube and I think it's just really fun. Um, they say that depending on what you carry in your purse, mm -hmm. it says a lot about your personality. So I thought that was interesting and we're just gonna see if there's anything to that. But before we get to kind of just letting you guys see what's in our bag, um, I found this blog on um, the internet uh, by Suzanne Bender mm -hmm. and she just kind of gives you just kind of a brief description if you carry these certain things in your purse um, this is probably the type of person you are you know kind of in that vicinity so I'm gonna just run through that real quick and this blogger's name is Suzanne Bender she says every woman loves a handbag and whatever we choose to put in them are our personal choices that reveal bits and pieces about ourselves we'll see Curious to find out what your bag says about you? Go ahead and get started. And then she gives us a list um, of things. She gives us four different types of women. The planner, the spontaneous, the minimalist, and the creative. So for the planner, it says um, she's organized, someone's to, someone who likes to play it safe. This woman likes predictability and she likes order. Okay, according to the Diva Handbag Lady, Women under this category regularly use classic style bags um, and fill it with tissues, phone chargers, eye drops, toothbrushes, lip gloss, and anything else that will help them stay prepared for any situation and at all times. That is very interesting and we'll check on that a little later. Okay, then you have the spontaneous. If you often carry your passport, some candy, perfume, a book, a mini pharmacy in your tote bag, um, you're most likely a wanderer, always ready for the next adventure. Um, and then you kind of just down for whatever, okay? Then you have the minimalist. She carries things like her credit card, compact, um, phone, keys, lip balm, breath mints, just, um, and she tends to have uh, fewer items in her bag. She doesn't just go around with just a bunch of junk, you know, like receipts and excess paper and just a lot of money. No, she carries just what she needs. That's the minimalist. And the creative, this is the last one and then we're gonna get into it. This person, um, she's she believes in the organized clutter. Okay, and a per this sort of person, um, it seems messy, her bag seems messy, but she knows where everything is. Um, She's the artist, she's very creative. Um, she's what you would consider to carry a bottomless pit where she just has all kind of stuff in there. And they said this sort of woman has prescription, medication, receipts, coloring pencils, just every everything, books, notebooks, tissue, old receipts. So this is the creative, just, they just have everything in that bag. But it's a, it's a um, organized clutter. They know where everything is, there's a, reason or use for all of it so that's a little bit of what I read so we will see um, where we fall and we're just gonna get right into it so Tiffany's gonna start first which is gonna kind of show you and we'll go from there all right you guys so that's digging here this is my bag I carry this bag every day to work um, so let's get started so the first thing that I carry in my bag is of course my wallet have my money in there, all that good stuff. So, of course, you gotta have a good wallet and a little change uh, pack for your money, for your change. Okay, after that, I carry my Bible. I have a mini Bible, and I keep this in my purse every day. So, you know, pretty handy. You know, if you at work, you get stressed out, and you just want to just kind of hit somebody in the face, you may need to grab the Bible for a little bit. So I got me a little handy Bible with me. Um, I also have a little makeup bag that I keep my makeup in, um, you know, just my lip, ch uh, lip chaps, lotion, um, I keep, um, like wipes, like, uh, these are like, um, summer's eve wipes, you know, you know, good personal stuff like that. Um, eyelash glue, yeah, I keep all that good stuff in here. So this is, this is about the most makeup that I would take with me on a daily basis, about, it's about this much. Okay, um, I also take with me my planner, 
uh, like I said, just in case um, I get like something that's coming up or um, somebody email me something and I need to make sure I'm available for the dates or whatever, I use this a lot. So definitely keep my planner on my bag. And let's see what else. I definitely keep some type of pain medicine in my purse. You got to keep some type of, especially ladies, you know, when you're in your period and stuff and you got to keep some type of medicine. So I always use a leaf. This stuff really works for headaches, definitely for cramps and all that stuff. So I keep this in my bag at all times. Um, I keep body spray. I don't really keep perfume, but just something light, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of freshen up your day. After about three, four hours at work, you want to kind of freshen up. So I keep some uh, um, body uh, spray in my bag. It's almost gone, but I got this from uh, Bath and Body Works. So I keep this in my bag here. And I'm almost through, you guys. I keep a pack of pins. You know, every day you want to use a different color, I keep this. So always keep something to write with in my purse. So here you go here. All right. And I always keep my glasses. Just some glasses. I really love these too. Nice pair of glasses. And I keep also... Um, a pair of shades just in case I need them and I also keep you know little snacks gotta keep the candy in the bag you guys Jolly Rancher chooses life so make sure you keep some candy in your bag all right and I think that is a oh no almost done I keep lotion you know definitely keep you some good lotion and I keep <laughs> but I always keep a pad ladies always keep a pad in your bag just in case an emergency happens just you know you know as you get older you know these things so just keep a pad in your bag and that is about it oh and gum got some gum you get to keep the uh, breath fresh all right so that's about all I carry in my bag on a daily basis okay so according to what we've read she would probably be considered, I think, the um, creative, the last The one creative, yes. where you have just kind of everything, yes. like an organized mess. Yes. So she'd be the creative. Yes. So she has a lot of stuff in uh -huh. there. She didn't show you all the papers and receipts, but <laughs> it's an organized mess. So she'd be the creative. Yes. So, okay. So I'll let you guys know what I have. So yes, this is my bag. This is my purse and work bag. I carry everything in this. This is a, just a regular tote. I don't like bags with a whole lot of designs and all that on there. I like a basic, um, very classic looking bag. I'll carry a smaller purse, but I tend to like big bags because I carry a lot. My life's in the bag. So um, I didn't take anything out or put anything in to make it seem whatever. This is just my daily. This is how I operate. Okay. So of course I have my cell phone. Um, time for me to upgrade. I got an S5, but I got my phone. Um, gum, Orbit, always keep you something for your breath. Altoid, Cinnamon, I'm out of them. They are the friggin' best. Get them. Okay, just some card. <sighs> bobby pins. I always lose bobby pins and they're always found in my purses. So I got a lot of uh, bobby pins in my bag. My wallet. Um, kind of overpacked receipts you know main right here I'm not going through all that yeah you know all that um then I carry my bible um you know I could get a smaller one and it may be just something mental but I just like carrying in my big one you know I just feel like when I read it it just I don't know I don't like reading small words so I just carry this deal with me I carry it to work and stuff like that and you're probably asking when you go to stores do you carry that big bag no I'll just take out my big mm -hmm. stuff put it on my car seat and take my big bag in. That's literally how I operate. So, carry my Bible. Mm -hmm. Or two, two, depending on where you go, you may just take your wallet out. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. I may just, like, when I go to the Goodwill, right. I may just take my yeah. wallet out. So, yeah, that's I do right. that too. Mm -hmm. Then I have my black book. My black book. Uh, this is just, you know, I keep a lot of information in here, you know. I have so many passwords for work and for accounts and things like that. So, I forget it. If I don't write it down, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very um, kind of strict with that sort of stuff mm -hmm. because I don't want to forget it. You, you guys know if you work for the state, wherever you stay, mm -hmm. 
just passwords for everything, you know? I carry my journal. I journal, you know, honestly, and I'm not just making this up. If I don't have my journal with me, I kind of feel naked. So yeah, and I name them too. I name my journals. This is this journal is called Blossom. So yeah, I carry this everywhere, everywhere. So this always goes with me. And Tiff can account. I really do carry this all, everywhere. Right. Yep. Then how would I got? Can um, you read us something out of the journal? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. But this is just a Sunday school book. I have a Sunday school lesson this week, so I don't normally carry this. I just have it in there for this week. So Sunday school book. Mm -hmm. um, this needs to be in my car. I have my insurance mm -hmm. card in there. Um, I have some medication, like pain medication. Mm -hmm. And we're not like pill bobbers, right, you know what no. I'm saying? We just take it for pain, you right. know, because our sort of pain just be on another level. Right. So. Mm -hmm. and we'll talk about that another day. Right. Got a bookmark. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, I have receipts mm -hmm. that's old receipts that I just need to throw away. Walmart receipts. Yeah, I Walmart. got a whole lot of those in my wallet in my first two. <laughs> um, I have a mirror. This is from Victoria's Secret. It says, I woke up like this. I got this as a gift um, from a beautiful lady that I know. Um, we, we've become really close, Miss Shelby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, that's really cute. Also, um, I got a pair of socks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, these need to be washed. I had to do that work. I had to take it out by my first hand. <laughs> um, a makeup bag. Mm -hmm. I received this as a gift. This actually came from Mexico. Um, from my previous job, uh, one of the women, she goes to Mexico, I think, every year. Mm -hmm. um, got me this, and I use it as a little makeup bag. So it's really cute, very colorful. Um, and I just got, um, just, you know, I have a toothbrush, I have our sugar and spice business cards, mm -hmm. gotta be legit, um, I have floss, I am a flosser, quick side note, mm -hmm. I floss a lot, like, all the time, all I, the time. I gotta have these with me, these placards, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, lotion, also got this a gift, thanks Miss Shelby. This is Victoria's Secret Ultimate Hand Cream mm -hmm. um, Coconut Milk Lotion. This is some awesome, you see that? Awesome stuff, go get it, it's really good. Um, toothpaste, uh, you know, just some lip, lip stuff. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Some more lip stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much all I have in there. And some, um, yeah, Q-tips, cause you know when you got the mascara uh -huh. run, she carries yeah. these too. Yeah. You know, you got some, you have to have something to clean it out. You got yeah. those things in your eye, and, uh, <laughs> you know. But that's all I have in there. Um, let's see what else I got. I have my little budget. I do my budget. Ladies, we have to get in the habit mm -hmm. of being able to budget. So I write down everything that I have to pay. And I keep this with me because I want to stay on track with what I'm spending, mm -hmm. what's going out and what's coming in. And that's just a way to kind of help me stay on track. And I think that's important, you know, to kind of know what's where our money's going and things like that. So, um, I have some loose change. <laughs> Have some loose change. Um, I have a, a pen. Mm -hmm. um, I have, you know, some more bobby pins. Right. Some, you know, paper and wrappers. Um, honestly, it's not as bad as, it, as it's been in right. the past. Um, I'm doing actually pretty good. But yeah, that's just kind of how I roll. I just need everything. I just need to be prepared. So mm -hmm. I don't know. What, I, what would I be considered? Let me get my paper real quick. Right. Um, According to this blog, I would say, yep, I was going to say that. Planner. I would be considered the planner. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of the stuff that was on here, like the lip gloss, the yep. toothbrush, and the, you know, charger and all that. The floss. The Who floss. Has floss. That's, there's something to that. And honestly, mm -hmm. like, as far as my character, my personality is concerned, and honestly, this makes my sister mad because I can, you know, I can be kind of anal like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think that's kind of me. Yeah. I like stuff, the plan stuff. I gotta keep stuff, mm -hmm. you know, know what where stuff is going, right. and like I like structured stuff. Mm -hmm. I, there's something to this. Right. There's something to Very this. True. So look this up. Right. Um, again, this blogger is Suzanne Bender, and okay. the name of this is the what? Uh, wait, hold up. What the contents of your bag say about you? Mm -hmm. 
so it's interesting i do see some truth both of us see some uh -huh. truth in this but that was all we had right um we hope that you enjoyed the video yes. it'd be fun to see some of you other ladies do this right. and see if you find some uh -huh. truth and um you know whether or not what's in your bag says something about you right so. and let us know below which um which um uh, person you are as far as your back let us know down below comment down below which one are you so i was the creative and she was the planner so let us yeah. know what you guys have um got as well so and if you, again if you want to find this article you can look up um suzanne bender she wrote the article if you kind of forget what we say or whatever like that but hopefully you enjoy the video uh, something a little fun again comment like subscribe uh, share yes. uh, we love you guys and that's all we got for you all right later Bye.